What's up everybody? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. How are you? I'm great, thank you for asking. We're gonna give you a uh, raw, uncut leg session. Legs has been one of those things that hasn't necessarily been like a big, big focus, but it's been more of a focus than ever because now I've got to actually get them out on stage. So really had to really focus on form, intensity, total volume, been doing a lot of hamstring work to try and bring those up as well, so we're just going to get into it, one of those sessions, we're here at Dungeon today, so the perfect gym for those raw uncut, you can hear the weights clanging, you can hear people grunting, it's one of those sessions, so let's fucking go. It's not often you find a stack you can fill below 10 reps, but that is one of them. Fucking hell, that is the old school strive. Strive's like pre prime. It's basically prime is strive reinvented. So you can adjust where that load is and while we're fresh here. Oh, fuck. I need this all. While we're fresh here, I'm trying to load that position here, lengthen as possible, and then allow it just to draw up off a little bit as we come forward. But that's a knee smasher. Hammy's done, quads loaded, knee joints fucking warm, now I'm going to squat, I forgot my knee sleeves like three weeks in a row now, well I say forgot, I haven't had any, first one, first one's broke, I waited for some new samples, they came, they didn't fit, couldn't wear them, I waited for my new samples, they come like, they come today, but just didn't come in time before I left, so, a raw doggy again. I really do feel the difference with that. I much prefer it with with these leaves.
one thing <clears throat> that you could constantly do is internal feedback on what you should be doing with those reps. I can already, I already know, I don't even need to watch that back. I took a bit too much time between those reps and that's because I didn't have my knees on. It's a new exercise, it's a new machine that felt quite heavy but I already know that I could have got more out of those reps by just being smoother, a bit more like a piston. And just staying along that line so i think internal feedback is like a skill and it's one thing that i try and instill in my online coaching clients is are you making those connections of fatigue are you making those connections of what feels good in a in a lift are you making those connections of diet nutrition sleep are you drawing those dots and connecting them yourself or are you just arbitrarily going through it and don't get me wrong i'm coaching someone and they don't want to think about it, that's fine. But if you're trying to get better for yourself and ultimately do this yourself one day, connecting those metaphorical dots, understanding internal feedback is, is so, so important. So if you're not having those conversations with yourself already, try and have them. If set feels fucking good on the money, why is that? Hydration, slept well, prepared well, different pre-workouts, all those different types of things that go into the lift to take it to like the next step.
So we're at that point now, fucking hell. Three sets of hamstrings, three sets of quads, two sets of hack squat, one set of leg press, and like the lungs are starting to go, oh yeah. Yeah, you're 122 and a half kilos now. You can feel that. Recovery a little bit down. This is kind of where the, actually my recovery would probably be fucked if I wasn't doing my cardio, but I am. So I'm kind of feeling, I can still recover from these, but like my central nervous system, that little thing that makes you shake sometimes, starting to kick in. And to know that I've only got one big set left really, I've got adductors after this and some glutes, like I can uh, safely say that the volume that I do is, is adequate. And when you find yourself, I'd call it like in a fancy word, neurologically dropping off, AKA less concentration, less effort, less motivation, thinking, fuck, you know, am I gonna do this? That's kind of like your central nervous system telling you you're fucked. Yeah, like in layman's terms. So, I'm, uh, my, my central nervous system is saying, you're gonna be fucked in a minute. So I can really start to feel that. The sickness, the legs just like aren't recovering, feeling heavy. But I've got one more set on here. And I can rest a little bit and get on some of So this is this is where you fucking grow. It's these moments. What are you gonna do? You're gonna come at it half-hearted, you're gonna dig the fuck in. You already know what we're gonna do. this part now, now to rest, I'm going to do, see how this feels, I'm do two, two or three sets, I'm going to do my calves, I think there's a calf machine here somewhere, over there, and then uh, see how my lungs feel, I can do, do some glutes, I've been thinking to move the glutes actually, because by this time of the session I'm just like wrecked, so I might move the old glutes too. Pushed out something. to uh, donkey, hey donkey, donkey car phrases. This is like the iconic Arnold exercise where he has two girls on his back, which is lifting up. Today we don't have two girls on the back because we're in, we can't do that stuff, we get arrested. And my girlfriend, my nuts off. Yeah. <sighs> 
Ooh. No calf days have been missed. Can you get can you get the shot behind it? Let's see if it works. I feel like my calf has put some actual size on. And who would have thought? Pretty solid. I've never had weak calf anyway. But just putting a bit more effort into them. Never miss them. Ever. They just they just grow better, don't they? Can't say it works for everyone with like naturally skinny calves. But for me, it's working. There's some absolutely dead after that session, like physically and actually literally. So, uh, <laughs> uh, so that's it, that's it. I don't know if this lighting's any good, but it's probably not very, but legs are blown. One of my like pros is like actually the separation between my clothes, if you, if you can't see it. It's probably quite a good session. I'm trying to work on these hamstrings quite a bit, so my split, like my quad is like here, so anything behind it for me is a, is a pro but we are taking every advantage of every leg session i can sending it to the moon because i got a fucking pose on stage it's crazy isn't it I don't, know, I don't know how it's gonna go but i'm excited for it hope you guys uh enjoyed this video we'll be back very soon pumping out more content don't forget to follow me on instagram follow me on tiktok we do e tiktok exclusive we do instagram exclusive and also youtube exclusive so don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, guys. See you very soon. Peace and love, everybody. Bye-bye.